Hi, crazy critters. So as you can see, we have a pretty nice size inflatable pool here. So today I'm going to be showing you four different ways you can turn this inflatable pool into something for your reborns. So first and the most obvious is a pool. <laughs> so obviously only silicones are going to be good in the water. Um, cloth bodies, do not put them in the water as I'm sure all of you know, just because if their cloth bodies get wet, I'm sure you can get mildew, mold, things like that, which you obviously don't want. So <laughs> that's thing number one. Thing number two is you can turn it into like a play yard or just a, a play area for your reborns if you don't want to sit them on the ground, which I don't blame you. I feel really weird if I put my reborns on the ground. It just doesn't feel right. So step one, um, you can get just a big blanket. This one is really extra and honestly, I couldn't find another one. We're in the middle of moving, so this is the best I could do. So the reason why I chose this extra big blanket is because you can just drape it over the top of your pool. There we go. Okay, so we have it all the way across and we can just press it down. So the main reason for having a oversized blanket is because, let me pull that down, is so if you don't like the rings on the side, you can cover it up. And I did not tuck mine, as you can see over there, just because I'm filming a video and obviously I'm not going to make it look perfect because <laughs> within like the next second, I'm going to show you the other things you can do with it. So here's the first thing. And yeah, you can tuck it underneath. You can put little um, stuffed animals up against that back and just make it really cute, make it however you want. And the cool thing is you can get um, just a really cheap inflatable pool and make it exactly how you want it. You can get whatever cheap blankets you want. You can, you can just go all out, which I think is awesome. So there's blanket number one. Now, blanket number two is if you don't mind the rings being shown. This is a lot easier for me. <laughs> so I have the, um, this blanket here is a reversible blanket that I made. It has little horses and then it has pink on the back. So um, I'm just gonna do the pink side up. So I'll take it and then instead of having it drape over, we're just gonna tuck all this in. So it doesn't take honestly too much effort for all the things that you can do with this pool. Go ahead and tuck this in and don't worry about these um, if you wanted to you can do padding of a blanket and then do another one around the rim it's however you want to do it plus i'm going to cover it up with stuffed animals anyways okay so here is what it looks like all tucked in and i do have this unicorn it's a huge unicorn <laughs> which you can't go wrong so i'm going to put this at the back end so there it is, looks so, so cute. So now that we have our unicorn there, we can put our baby in. So this is Nora Louise. Um, the baby's going to look a little bit familiar if you've seen some of my previous videos, um, but this is actually um, one of my boy reborns. But for the purpose of this video, I figured I'd switch him to a girl because I have a lot more pink things. <laughs> So, and then you can go ahead and just pop in some little toys. I have a Hello Kitty teether, which you can just put down there. I have a Hello Kitty uh, waffle teether. Give that to her. She can just chew on that. And then I just have a regular teether here. So you can just put all that in there. And so we turned this pool into a really nice play area or honestly, if you just wanted a place for your reborns to um, sit them there, you know, while you watch TV and they can just play and do whatever. This is the perfect thing for that. And I also wanted to show you guys what it looked like without the unicorn. So I'll go ahead and take this big thing out. So there really is a lot of room. As you can see, there's actually quite a bit. It looks kind of small from where the camera is at, but it is a perfect and nice cushion spot for your reborns. So the next thing you can do is turn this into a crib, which basically is going to be the same thing. But the awesome part is with it being so big, you can fit multiple reborns in here because I have seen some videos where people will use like laundry baskets, which there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's a really good um, way to do a crib. My thing is that <laughs> if say you had four reborns, you're going to have four laundry baskets and it'll just take up a lot more room where with this i mean this baby is huge like it's a big baby but if you were to scoot her over you could easily fit three reborns over here like here you know what i'll grab grayson and i'll be back 
All right, I went ahead and grabbed little Grace in here so I can show you guys the size of this pool. And this is obviously a kiddie pool. So, I mean, the room you'll have. So this baby right here easily fits um, 12 month clothes. He is in newborn stuff. So you can see there's still a lot more room. So if you want to do a crib or a play yard, you have it all right here because with those laundry baskets, it's pretty much, you can just use it as a crib. So this, I mean, there's so many things you can do with this. So that is going to be the other thing you do, can do is the the pool, <laughs> obviously, the, um, the play yard, um, and then the crib. So then for the fourth one is actually really fun. So I just have to go grab the things and I'll be right back. I am back. I know that was just a split second for you guys, but it took me quite a while, honestly. <laughs> so here is the last thing um, that you can do with a inflatable pool. So I bought this set of balls and there's a ton more in the living room. I actually have another um, like bouncy thingy out there that has um, a lot of the other balls, but I believe this was just in one container that I had bought um, off Amazon. So you can turn <laughs> your little pool into a ball pit. So this I think would be really good for um, toddlers if you have toddlers or bigger babies, um, but I will set her up over here so you guys can get the um, get a better idea of the size. Gosh, she is a big girl and her head is floppy. I do apologize. She just has a really floppy head. But here's what it looks like. It's so cute and they can just play with the balls and it's really easy to clean up because you can just pick them up and toss them right in here. So this works as storage <laughs> for the balls if you say you had another crib um, that you were using instead. But here is the final look of what you can do with your inflatable pool. So if you guys like watching or enjoyed any of these tips, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.